You may recall two videos we brought to you previously, of a bull elephant who got hopelessly defeated in a vigorous fight with another bull elephant during Must. The video showed that he was treated for many injuries, including one severe wound that had gone up to his lungs. This is the third video about the same tusker, and this is about two weeks from the last treatment. The tusker's almost recovered now, but he still needs treatment for a few wounds that could turn bad if unattended. His low pulse rate needs to be raised, and he also needs to be given an energy boost to reach normalcy. This is the objective of today's treatment. When the wildlife team reached the tusker, he was at a stream-like place surrounded by trees. It's obvious that treatment cannot be done at a place such as this. Therefore, the veterinarians and the wildlife team decided to get him out of his place tactfully. Elephants are sensitive to noise. They listen and react to noises, particularly the ones that humans make. Using this as an advantage, the wildlife team makes noises to get the elephant to move away. Our research team is well experienced in doing this without annoying or harming the animal. And the trick worked. The tusker moves out from the stream and immediately an officer darts him with a sedative drug. With the dart pricked on him, he walks toward a nearby paddy field. The tusker doesn't show any aggression, but he keeps moving. Maybe he knows that these people are here to help him as they did before. And he surely must be feeling an improvement after the previous two treatments as well. After all, elephants are intelligent creatures. After a few minutes, the sedative drug gets to work, and the tusker gradually loses its body balance and falls sedated near a tree. You can see that there are still a few wounds that need treatment, while some others have already dried up. There's not much time to waste as the animal's pulse rate is a bit low, so the rescue team begins their work immediately. During the tussle between the two tuskers, this one had gotten attacked on his body severely with a wound that had injured even his lungs. That's why this tusker is taking a long time to recover fully. It's also the reason for his low pulse rate and weakness in his body. The vet team, together with the wildlife officers, work in coordination to treat the animal quickly. They start injecting medicines such as antibiotics, multivitamins, painkillers, anti-inflammatory drugs, and anti-parasitic drugs such as ivermectin. At the same time, they also prepare the animal to receive a dose of saline mixed with dextrose. This is a first aid done when an animal is not able to drink enough fluids or when additional fluids are needed. This solution will rehydrate the tusker and thereby boost energy. The administration of this compound is done via an IV line connected to the back of the ear flap after a thorough cleaning. Intravenous administration is the best way to deliver a precise dose quickly and in a well-controlled manner throughout the body. This method is also used for irritating solutions, which would cause pain and damaged tissues if given by subcutaneous or intramuscular injection. Some of the medicines that are as such are also given to the tusker by the veterinarians. Oh, 
Checking the respiration rate of an elephant can be a hefty feat, as attempting to count its breath is not easy. One reason is, they don't like to stand still, and they only breathe about 30 times per minute. This can be measured by placing one or two fingers on the largest artery behind the ear. In our case, since the ear is being used to administer saline, the vets take an alternative route to take a count on the breaths by keeping a hand on the tusker's trunk. Most of the wounds on the Tusker's body are drying up, but there are still some with maggot infestations. Negasunt powder is sprinkled on all these wounds, and then the antibiotic is sprayed on them. This will kill the fly larvae and maggots. The antibiotic spray will help dry up the wounds. There is a fairly large wound visible under the tail of the animal. This is also an injury caused by the furious ramming of the opposing tusker. The vets apply negasunt powder on this wound as well. While other treatments are going on, the saline dextrose solution is also being administered, and it'll go for a while. This tusker fought with another tusker during their must season. This tusker is the one who got defeated in their fight and got severely injured. He's been treated twice already. The previous treatments included carefully prepared doses of painkillers, antibiotics, multivitamins, saline with dextrose, and a few other medicines prepared to a standard formula for the elephant's body size. It also included cleaning the maggot-infested wounds, rinsing them off with antiseptics, and medicating them. These medicines have shown good results, and that is why the same medicines are used today as the third treatment. Now that the treatment is over, the revival drug will be given soon. All these medicines are given simultaneously to save time, as this tusker can't be kept sedated too long as his heart rate is still at a low count. Don't you think the teamwork and dedication of these officers is commendable? A few moments after the revival drug is injected, the Tusker is trying to stand up. He's still not energetic enough to push himself up and rise, so the veterinarians decide to administer one more dose of saline. Being a little more energetic after the extra dose of saline, the Tusker now tries to sit up. He succeeds, but getting up is still too difficult. So the rescue team decides to get a JCB machine and pull him up with its support. This video does not contain the part where the animal is getting up, but we're happy to say that our task was completed successfully, and the Tusker got up and went into the forest without any difficulty. The range officers will keep an eye on him, and he'll be treated for one last time in a few days. Let's wish this beautiful Tusker a complete recovery. Yeah.
Thank <laughs> you. 